Welcome back. We saw the first part of a conditional where we can write if and then a condition and some code will run. Next, we're going to talk about a second component, which is called else if. You can think of else if as if the first condition was not true, maybe this other thing will be true. It will only be attempted if the first part, if the if was false. So if we try it out over here, I'm in a new file again. I kept my code from the last section or the last video where we're doing a performance review. Let's say this is our guide. If rating is three, that person is a superstar. If rating is two, they meet expectations. So with what we know right now, without else if, we could just write a second condition. If rating equals equals two, console.log meets expectations, like that. And this does work if I make rating two, we'll only see meets expectations. But this is not the same thing as using an else if. If we have two separate ifs, there's certain scenarios where both of them could be true. Instead of checking if rating is equal to three, what if we said if it is, I don't know, equal to three and then this one was greater than or equal to two. If we change rating to three, both of these will be true and we end up with both of them printed out. Now that's kind of an arbitrary example because in our case, rating is really just three, two, one, or something else. But the point is, this is a different structure. We have two conditionals. First one runs, if it's true, this code runs. And regardless of whether this one actually worked, if this was true or not, this second one will be attempted. But if we change our structure and we use an else if, only one of them will ever run. So if we add else if, it follows the exact same format where we have our parentheses and a condition. We just add else instead of purely if. So else if rating equals two, will console.log meets expectations. We'll save, refresh the page, and when rating is two, this prints out. The first one is attempted, it's false, so we try this one. If that one didn't work, try this. If this one didn't work, we can add in multiple else ifs. I have a slide on it. We can have as many as we want. You probably don't wanna have a ton of them. Your code can get pretty long and there might be a better way to refactor or rewrite your massive conditional, but it is valid JavaScript. So we could add in the same thing. I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'll select it and then shift option down arrow. And I'll say if rating is equal to one or else if rating is equal to one needs improvement. Refresh, we get the same result. If rating is one, we get needs improvement. It attempts this, it's false, it moves on. Maybe this one, that's false, it moves on. How about this one? In our case, it's true when rating is one, so we get this printed out. So else if is another option to try after the first one does not work. An else if is only valid if there's an if before it. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense and JavaScript will freak out at you. You can see it's highlighting it for me in VS Code. It's expecting some sort of conditional to come before it, meaning it wants if. So they have to be paired. We have our if, and then optionally, a bunch of else ifs. So that's pretty much it for else if. It's relatively straightforward. If you understand if, it's the same idea. It's just a second option or a third or a fourth or however many you need after the first one if it was false. We have one more piece of the puzzle. We'll talk about it in the next video, else.